Hey everybody, good day. This is Vector66, and I wanted to make an updated video for clean panels in 2024 and see where we are right now. Uh, clean panels inception started a couple years ago, um, basically to help anyone with add-ons and giving them options uh, for best workflow and efficiency of everything they do. Um, I wanted to go ahead and put a couple slides together, um, kind of make it easier visually and um, have you see things as I go through and features and go through the preferences. Um, and then what I like to do then is make a couple more videos uh, explaining each section broken down more. Um, let me just put the sign here. So since Clean Panels has been around, uh, we've now have a standard version, which can allow people to get into Clean Panels and use it uh, with now, without feeling they have to spend a little bit more for features they might not need in the Pro version, um, but still give themselves uh, efficient workflow and quick access to their add-ons. Okay. So basically, uh, <clears throat> Our goal uh, simply was to give somebody a couple different ways uh, how to access their add-ons um, and, and just make their workflow easier. Uh, as you can see here, access add-ons quickly, efficiently, in several different ways. Um, now, the key looking here, and a lot of people got confused, was don't look at clean panels as this large overly bearing add-on, okay? Try to look at it the simplistic way as far as what's the what's the easiest way I can work either through focus panels, and I'll explain all these, uh, you know, whatever may be um, for your needs. Don't worry about jumping in and spending hours configuring this. Uh, funny enough, I hop in, I put a little uh, effort into add-ons that I use all the time, and I use the focus panels mostly, um, okay? So what we have is we have filtering. Uh, what filtering will give us, filtering will give us the option to have categories, okay? Um, and I'll show you, categories will have little icons uh, that you can have, you know, for instance, um, landscape work, materials work, um, animations, things like that. You'll be able to click your category and your end panel then will show these add-ons there instead of cluttering it with everything that you might not be needing for that specific workflow. Uh, the great thing is, you know, if you're you're doing a specific type of work, change over to that category and all the add-ons are right there without, as we know, uh, blenders squished and hard to read and hard to get to. Okay, uh, The focus panel. Uh, the focus panel is a quick panel, uh, looks like a large menu, and it can be accessed through a hotkey. Um, all these hotkeys you'll see in the preferences can be changed. Um, but basically with your choice of hotkey, you click it, brings up a window, uh, you click which add-on you want access to, and uh, it's kind of cool. On the uh, end panel, it'll have a, a window or a panel that says focused and your add-on will be accessible right there. Uh, so the neat thing is you can, you can change out in between and they all are in that focus panel. Now, a lot of people will ask, hey, you know, why do you need that focus panel, things like that. What it does is it loads all your, your items in the background and then swaps it out through that. Um, dropdowns. Uh, dropdowns is kind of cool where uh, if you want um, items always available, uh, in the menu bar up top, you'll be able to see them. And again, I'll show you some of this stuff. You'll be able to see them, click them, they drop down, they're good to go. Uh, technically speaking, you can move the window around. Uh, you can also move the focus panel around. Um, but limitations to Blender, uh, as soon as you click outside that window, it will disappear. Uh, another way is through pie panels, okay? Pi Panels is pretty neat, though, for somebody that's used to using Pi Menus. Um, you basically set up categories, um, and you can access 
your Pi menu through a shortcut. It'll open up. It'll have your you know different categories in a Pi menu. You click it. It'll go further into your add-ons and eventually down into the add-on, which is kind of cool. Um, Clean Panels does allow you to rename your add-on tabs, which is great. A lot of people like to either um, put panels together. If you rename them the same, they will show up in the same. Um, they like to have different names for them. Um, we do also have a reorder option. So if you want to have the tabs show up differently on your category, um, top to bottom, you can basically reorder them through there. Uh, we do also have a configuration file that we've learned over the years. People put a lot of time into setting this up and you can have this, it automatically saves, but you can have it exported, have a saved file. And then if you change versions, things like that, you can import all this stuff right back in. All right. So that is the standard version that's all offered with that. And recently we came up with our pro version. Um, the neat thing with the pro version is starting is we introduced delay loading of add-ons, which is kind of neat because somebody like myself that might have a hundred add-ons, heck there are even people out there with a couple hundred add-ons. Um, what delayed add-ons will do is it'll allow you to have certain add-ons load up all the time um, from the start. Uh, we could basically have add-ons load by categories now, which is really great. Um, but as you can see here, it starts to blender much faster with only the add-ons that you choose or will be needing. And you might need certain add-ons later. You can load them in through a button, which is great. Um, there is a new option now with load add-ons with filtering. Uh, basically what that is, is your add-ons will, once a blender loads up, your add-ons will only load what you want on the start. And let's say you have your landscaping categories, your materials, things like that. You click your category at the top, and then in the background, it'll load those add-ons into memory. Um, so you might have a small lag spike there, you know, one, two, three, four, five seconds, and those add-ons now will be available. Um, one thing to mo no uh, mention here, as you'll see in red, <clears throat> When you are setting this up with the delayed add-on loading, if your add-on is not loaded into the system, as you would know, let's say it's not turned on or things like that, you won't either have add-on icons or choices until those are actually loaded into memory, into the system. Um, so if you're used to something being there, an icon or something like that, and you're like, hey, you know, it's, it's not there now, I, I turned on the delayed add-on loading, um, as soon as you load that add-on through either your category or literally there's a button called load add-ons, it'll then show up. Um, another option here, if Blender is updated, while you have delayed add-ons loaded, you must disable and re-enable that option so that it can update to the new version. Okay. Um, and as we're t talking about all this, um, make sure you join our Discord. So a lot of people that have in the past uh, left reviews that have never really reached out to us and support is, is our largest thing to make sure you guys enjoy your time using clean panels. Make sure it, it is the easiest for you to use and, and make sure your time using Blender is a lot better. All right, so on the simplest here, uh, what you'll see is basically with uh, clean panels, uh, you're going to see a little new filter icon up here, okay? If that is not blue, uh, Clean Panels is not actually enabled in general. Um, so when you click it and it's blue, you will then notice that your filtering will take place, you know, however you set up your components, things like that. Um, and then you're also going to see a little gear icon, okay? That shows up with Clean Panels. That is our quick access menu. Uh, for quick settings. Uh, what that does is you can get into the full preferences. Uh, you can say which direction the icon on or the filtering on the right or the left of the menu. Um, and you can actually edit things right there. You know, Pi menus, drop downs, 
uh, different things here um, right there quickly. Okay, so I wanted to hop into the preferences and kind of go through and show you some things here. Okay, so this here is our main preference window. Um, you're going to see this on the standard version and the pro version. Uh, the pro version you'll see down below here says pro features. Okay. So as we go from top to bottom, uh, you're going to basically make sure you have like your check for updates going, things like that. You'll see if you're currently updated. Um, you're going to see we have a key map. Uh, just want to make sure. Okay, cool. You have your key maps. Uh, that's for the um, configuration of the different items. Uh, advanced options. And again, I'm going to go through different slides here to show this. Um, advanced options out of the box is, is minimized so you're not overwhelmed. Uh, the direction, right or left. What that basically means is if our filter and our icon, again, is going to be on the right side of your menu or the left side. Um, there is a button here for enable disable add-ons. Uh, you can literally hit that button. It'll bring up a large window. And you can basically say, if I don't want these add-ons to be loading, um, this was this was originally in the system, so it's not part of the delayed add-ons, things like that. This will literally say if we want to enable or disable, as if we were to go in the add remove um, area. Okay. Um, clean panels will work in the different viewports. You'll see, like in the main 3D viewport, uh, you have your node editor section and uh, image UV editor. Neat thing about these is they're all uh, configurable on their own. So if you have to happen to want the node editor to look a certain way with your add-ons, you can do that. Uh, and you can also do that with the UV editors. Okay. Uh, you're going to see the, as you come down a little bit, you'll see our tabs. <clears throat> and you'll see renaming. Like again, a lot of times people want a certain add-on to be named a certain way. Okay. Left side of that, you won't be able to do anything. On the right side of the name here, you'll be able to click it and change the name as you like. Okay. Now you will see as as 4.2 and everything, um, certain items like items and all they'll have to be here. You'll see. But if you add the names the same, like if you want all these to be in items, wherever you change them all to item, they'll all show up there, which is kind of cool. Big thing to remember though, if you change the name. Make sure you hit confirm, like the enter key. Always, always make sure when you come in too to hit the refresh button to make sure things are are updated and all. Okay. Um, and as you'll see, there's different uh, drop downs here: pro features, config, help, and fix. I'll go through those next. All right. So now we have our key maps. Okay. Key maps are the out of the box setups. A couple of mine. I apologize. I didn't reset them all, but a couple of mine. I I'm a lefty, so I changed some of the uh, the mapping there. Um, but you'll see we have pie menus, um, toggling the filter. Toggling the filter is going to be turning on and off uh, clean panels. You can do that with the F button there. Um, focus panels, again, that's what I use mostly. Uh, I hit numpad 2, out of the box is Alt J, and it'll largely bring up the window, and you'll see all your items. Um, <clears throat> okay, oops, apologies, and the next slide, and here's the advanced options, so as you drop down here, kind of cool as, as time has gone on, you know, we've been adding more things, a lot of people in the past have asked, hey, can I have custom icons for my categories, of course you can, uh, they need to be in a PNG format, um, and you'll hit the little folder over here and you can have an area where all your icons are saved. And what happens is when you name that category, you can click an icon and then it'll uh, show up for that. Um, we have two different styles of filtering. Uh, we used to have workspace filtering. We're starting to get away from that now for a lot of the new code is all now in the end panel filtering and the way it works. All right, so a couple different things you can see here. Uh, if you want to, you know, hide panels, hide your drop downs that will show, you could do that. Um, sticky pop ups allows you then, um, instead of just moving your cursor off the box, you have to click out of it. Um, 
There used to be a holder tab. Now that's by out of the box there. Apologize, I'm just going over some of this stuff here. And if you have specific questions. Um, all right, as we go down. Remove uninstall that. I apologize, I haven't seen that before, but that, that'll take them out of the rename area. And then we have our experimental features here. You'll hit that, and that allows you to uh, automatically back up your add-ons um, as things go. Now you have to make sure though, that's always going to be creating a duplicate of large things. Um, so if your add-on has, uh, for instance, true terrain, true terrain ends up being a large um, add-on, for instance, this will actually make a duplicate of it. Um, <clears throat> and you will be taking up more space. That's just something to throw out there, okay? All right, so this is our pro features. Um, as you can see, when you drop it down, um, we have, we start here with a checkbox of load add-ons with filtering, okay? Um, <clears throat> that is something that you choose to do if you want. What that basically means is we have to turn on uh, enable, disable of your add-on loading, okay? But load filtering basically means when you bring up the blender, your add-ons won't load until you click your category. Um, okay. Now you'll see below here, like add new category. Um, you click that, you'll be able to name it, and then you could put the items of your add-ons in there will those will show up in your categories okay when you use the add-ons filtering now it's kind of neat it will actually go back and use the standard feature categories okay so <clears throat> if you had the filtering um, box chosen up top you'll be able to have your category um, through there you don't actually have to make new categories down here And then you're going to see the configuration import export right here. That'll actually be a config file that's held in your um, app data area that can be backed up uh, right here. Okay. And then the bottom is we try to do is we have a documentation link that goes um, to where um, Amon has his stored. Uh, we have Discord, which is huge under chat support. And then we have our YouTube videos here. Now we do have, you'll see here, some fixes that we had over the years. Uh, for instance, uh, Zen UV needs a specific fix. Uh, so if you're having any issues with that, you'll be able to apply these fixes for yourself. Okay. And you'll see here, here's the documentation. <clears throat> this will bring it directly to uh, Amon's link here with Rantools. Uh, again, fastest support. Uh, see if you can get in here to the invite to the link and then the clean panel videos. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to put up some more videos here. We're actually I'm loading it up um, and showing a couple different things here. Just wanted to put this together for what's new in version six. Uh, thank you so much, everybody. And uh, hopefully I'll see you real quick back here for another video.